Thank you very much. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you for being here. I could not be more excited. And what Karen didn't tell you is I'm an OBGYN. I've done 2,300 births. And other than my three wonderful children, this is the one I'm most excited about in 25 years of practice. <laughs> and what I want to talk to you about is, is you've heard a lot about health care reform, probably more than you care to. This is not about health care reform. This is about health care transformation in Collier County in southwest Florida, where the folks at, at Jackson Laboratory and those of us at USF Health bring to the table really a very, very unique combination. And I'll start off with one quote. The Institute of Medicine said, probably what was the most prophetic quote about four years ago, and they said, healthcare is in need of fundamental change. Trying harder will not work. Changing systems of care will. And what you're about to hear about is a partnership that we believe that will make Southwest Florida a center for that and will make the folks throughout Florida healthier and feeling better. So let's start off with USF Health. I want to start out with this very definitive statement. USF Health, which is the College of Medicine, College of Nursing, College of Public Health, College of Pharmacy, uh, and our School of Physical Therapy, is 100% committed to this project. We are Southwest Florida's medical school, nursing school, public health school, and pharmacy school, and we could not be more excited about what this will bring, not only to USF, to Collier County, to Southwest Florida, but to the state and the nation. But I want to tell you a little bit about what we are. We have been the medical school, the nursing school, the public health school that has looked at training the professionals for the next 10 years. Some of the times what we do in medical school especially is train people based on the last 10 years. I'll give you a couple examples. We're the first medical school in the country that is actually selecting docs based on emotional intelligence. Now, none of you might have ever had this, but you might have one time in your life been to a doctor that said, you know, that person was really brilliant, but I'm not sure he or she really related to me or really understood how to talk to me. Here's a fact. We still, in 2010, accept physicians based on their science GPA, their MedCats, and their organic chemistry grades. And somehow we're amazed that doctors are more, aren't more empathetic, communicative, and creative. <laughs> USF, we have the first LCME accredited school that will actually We'll have our minimums, and then we'll literally be erasing the objective criteria. So the admissions committee will choose students based on emotional intelligence. Why? Because once you've reached a point of about a 3.6 GPA and 31 on your MedCats, you're really darn smart. And the next piece is we want to make sure that the physicians, the nurses, public health professionals of the future can work together as teams and can relate to patients. First medical school in the country to do that. We're the first medical school in the country where every one of our students has to take a minor. That minor can be in public health, that minor can be in business, that minor can be in law, that minor can be in medical writing, that minor can be in industrial engineering for healthcare systems. So every one of our medical students is going to expand beyond, uh, beyond just a, a medical school course. And that goes beyond the education. We just got a $6 million grant from the federal government around electronic medical records. And not because we centered it in Tampa. We went to 1,200 docs throughout Florida, mostly in the rural health network in 20 counties, and converted their office from papered to electronic medical records. We have a partnership with Apple. My notes are here on this little iPad. <laughs> Starting in July, every one of our students in, our, in pediatrics and residents will have an iPad and will be able to do all their clinical work on the iPad. So instead of sitting by a computer and not talking to the patient, they'll have the tablet right there. By the way, our doctors today can be at their kid's soccer match, and you can call them for a, a re-prescription, and they'll have all your data on here, and they can electronically wireless. Every single one of our prescriptions at USF Health is wirelessly transferred. There are no handwritten prescriptions. Now, you all know about doctors' handwriting, and it's funny, but it's not funny when mistakes are made based on that, and we're changing that at USF Health. And then we also really believe in looking at the whole person. So I'll give you an example of that. We now run the state's Alzheimer's Center. It's one of the first places in the country where people walk in in the morning and go home at night thinking about one thing, Alzheimer's. Not what department they, they're in, because the researchers come from 15 different departments. Not whether they're a researcher or a clinical doc, because the clinical docs and the researchers work together. 
So we are looking at new vaccines for Alzheimer's. We are finding out the causes of Alzheimer's. We take care of 2,400 patients and their families with Alzheimer's, and we educate patients, families, medical students throughout the state all in one place. So that's USF Health. We found a great partner in Jackson. Um, I met my, uh, my wonderful wife on Match.com, and I haven't had a better first date uh, than I did with Chuck Hewitt, other than her. And the reason for that, and the reason for that, is that that there are a lot of great there are a lot of great organizations, there are a lot, a lot of great research laboratories, but literally the ability to think into the future, the ability to be collaborative, the ability to be flexible, creative, and passionate, which are three of the things that we really value, were clear there in, Jack, in Jackson Laboratory. They have a worldwide reputation in mammalian gen genetics. You can go through all that. But what they're really doing is unleashing the power of the human genome. We all talk about that great discovery. Well, they're actually unleashing it and turning it into, into practical information. Their expertise in bioinformatics, which is really what it's going to be all about, just dovetails perfectly. Anywhere from, as Dr. Holbrook mentioned, we have the largest researcher in the country in diabetes, NIH funding. By the way, he doesn't have one beaker. He doesn't even have a hood. It's all servers. He takes literally information from 27 different countries. A young woman or a child gets diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. It comes into us, and it helps direct clinical research for the rest of the country and the rest of the world. That's what Jackson Lab brings to us. So what will this mean to you in, in Collier County and Southwest Florida? First is personalized health. That's what it's all about. When you go to see your, your physician, when my patients come to see me, I still practice. They don't want to know what a cohort of people needs. They want to know what they need. And they want to have me to have all the information to give them what they need to stay healthy and if they do have a problem, to cure it. The second is in, in great integrated strategic partnerships. We could not be more proud of the fact that we partner very well with hospitals, universities, even the arts. We, we are one of the leaders in looking at how health relates to arts and how arts relates to health which they both do. So for example, we have our medical students take visual arts classes. Why? Because I might know the 15 differential diagnoses of why somebody has jaundice, but I also need to be able to understand shades of yellow. You know who's really good at teaching you shades of yellow? Artists. So literally, we're bringing those things together. And then the, the, the last piece is a big word and even a bigger concept, and that is pharmacogenomics. You're going to hear that a lot. And Basically, pharmacogenomics is matching the right drugs to you. Not to 100 people or 1,000 people that look like you. Not to, well, we think there's a 40% chance uh, because you look like this group that this might work, but to you, so that you're getting treated with safely, with quality and efficiency. And it really fits with the development and deployment of new technologies to serve patients and students. And that's another very important point. There's going to be a health provider shortage, and, and we know that. We want to be a pipeline. We have 650 residents that are all accredited through USF. By the way, they're not at one place, like a lot of universities. They're actually throughout the area. We look forward to creating a pipeline for this area. By the way, we already do. If you look at your current uh, hospitals and your current doctors, I'd venture to say that 